Why is the virgin birth of Christ denied? Because there is any uncertainty in the record as given in Matthew and Luke? No. The account is written in simple language and in detail. Mary was the first to inquire whether such a birth was possible, and it is fortunate that the question was asked, because an answer to a question is more impressive than a statement that is not drawn out by a question. Critics say that the virgin birth is only mentioned twice in the Bible, once in Matthew and once in Luke. But to be fair, they ought to explain that no other Bible writers mention Christ's birth. They ought also to state that the virgin birth is not contradicted by any Bible writer, and that nearly every writer in the Bible records miracles or supernatural manifestations just as mysterious as the virgin birth. There is no evidence to the contrary. Those who reject the record of the virgin birth do so solely on the ground that miracles are inconsistent with the hypothesis of evolution, an hypothesis which is still unproven. The virgin birth is no more mysterious than the birth of each one of us. It is simply different. God gave life, and the God who can give life can give it in any way or through any means that may please him. It was just as easy for God to bring Christ into the world as he did as to bring us into the world as he did. Shall we doubt the power of God? Or, relying upon our own wisdom, shall we presume to deny that God would desire to do what he is reported to have done? If Christ came down from heaven to save the people from their sins, is it unreasonable that his birth should have been different from the birth of others? The task that Christ came to perform was more than a man's task. No man aspiring to be a god could have done what he did. It required a god condescending to be a man. Is it unreasonable that such an one should have been conceived of the Holy Ghost and born of a virgin? Take Christ out of the man class and put him in the god class and all that the Bible says of him can be easily understood and gladly accepted. The rejection of the virgin birth not only condemns the Bible record on this subject as false, but it changes one's whole conception of Christ and makes it difficult, if not impossible, to build a church with him as the cornerstone. Christ, presented as the son of Joseph, shorn of divine authority, and denied a triumphant resurrection, would be impotent to save.